I greet you in Jesus' precious name and welcome to the program. It's a nice rainy day, so we are taking this film in a shed, an old shed. I want to speak to you about seed. If I was still actively farming, this would be a good day to plant seed. Why? Because the soil is moist and it is ready to receive good seed. Maybe you're sitting there watching this program and uh, you're saying, but you know, I've sown a lot of seed in my life, but I haven't seen any reward. Maybe one or two of you might even say, in fact, I want to tell you, I have actually thrown the towel in. I've given up. I'm not even sowing any more seed because I don't believe that God's heard my prayers. My dear friend, this message is for you. Don't ever, ever think that again. God's word will never, ever return void. Never. So when you've sowed good seed, the word of God, it will come back to you. Now, I want to tell you a story in a couple of minutes. I want to tell you a story of a Swedish couple in 1921. That's a long time ago. Went to the Congo, which was called the Belgian Congo in those days. And they went to a mission station and it was a total failure from beginning to end. The young missionary's wife, a young, small little lady, four foot eight tall, that's all. Her name was Sphere. Sphere. And Sphere ended up getting pregnant and they were on their own on the side of a mountain in a little mud hut. And before the baby was born, the husband went down to the chief and asked if the midwife could come and help, please. She delivered the baby. It was a difficult birth. And Sphere had no strength because she'd been riddled with malaria time and time again. After 17 days, she died. The missionary buried his young wife in a shallow grave, put up a little white cross, took his two-year-old son, who he had arrived with, the three of them came from Sweden, and went back to Sweden and said, God is not uh, fair. God has caused me, has broken me. I don't want to hear about God anymore. Long story short, a little boy used to come twice a week with eggs and chickens for sale. Sphere, when she was alive, she used to tell him about Jesus. The little boy gave his life to Christ. And years later, when he had grown up, he went to the same chief who didn't like them at all and said, please allow me to build a school. The chief allowed him to. He became the teacher of the school. He taught all the students about Jesus, didn't he? The kids went home and told their moms and dads about Jesus and they became Christians. 600 converts in that village, including the chief. But you see, David Flood, the husband of Svea, didn't know about that. And he went back to Sweden and he became a drunkard and he was angry and bitter. That little baby girl that was born was given away and eventually she ended up in America. And she grew up and she went to Bible college and she met a lovely young Christian pastor and they married and they had children of their own. Folks, a long story short, her and her husband went to London on a missions, uh, missionary uh, conference and there was a black man preaching the gospel. And afterwards he said that he's heading up a Pentecostal movement in central Congo with 110,000 followers, believers, baptized people in Christ. And uh, at the end of the, the meeting, this lady felt pr uh, uh, prompted, the little baby who'd grown up into a woman, she went up and she said to the, uh, the preacher, my name is Aggie. My mother was Fia Flood. The man broke into tears. He said, I was the little boy that was selling the chickens and the eggs. Please come to the Congo. Your mother is an absolute hero in our area. And we love her dearly. The story ends. She went to the Congo, saw her mother's cross. She told her dad about it. He, be, he came back to Christ. And I want to tell you something now. They are rejoicing in heaven today. Don't give up on the seed you've sowed. Goodbye. <laughs> 